was Altaf Ahmed, our correspondent, joining us there from South Lebanon. Let's go straight to Afghanistan and the latest situation in that country. The Taliban militants have attacked the U.S. air base in the southern Afghan province of Kandahar. A Taliban spokesman says the militants managed to infiltrate the largest U.S. base in southern Afghanistan. Explosions have been reported in the vicinity of the air base. A firefight started between the militants and U.S. forces. Right now, as we speak, U.S. and Afghan troops have surrounded the base, but reports are coming in that the clashes haven't stopped. Taliban militants also fired rocket-propelled grenades at the base. They say this is part of their new campaign to drive foreign troops out of Kandahar. Let's uh, get the latest from Press TV's correspondent in the Afghan capital, Kabul. Vice Khorshid, Vice. Side a group of Taliban set off bombs and fired rocket propelled grenades at the gate of Kandahar U.S. military air base, and this triggered a heavy gun battle between the American forces and the Taliban. The gun firing is still ongoing, and it began about two hours ago. The area is now surrounded by the American forces to kill the Taliban militants, and the Taliban spokesperson, Kari Yusuf Ahmadi, has told us that seven of their fighters are involved in this attack. The Taliban militants wanted to get inside, to make gain entry inside this U.S. air base, but when they fell, two of the Taliban militants detonated their explosives and now smoke rises outside the U.S. air base and the Taliban militants say that this is part of their new campaign against the American forces in Kandahar province. This base is the U.S. largest military air base in southern Afghanistan and it's, being, it's used by the American, Canadian, British and Afghan security forces in Kandahar province. But this is not the first time that this air base has been attacked by the Taliban militants. It came under the Taliban attack in the past too. It was hit by many rockets fired by the Taliban militants. But today's brazen attack is similar to the attack on Bagram U.S. base north of Kabul where the Taliban militants used rockets and mechs of bombings to penetrate the base's uh, defenses. And now m many here believe that these attacks against the American forces will keep rising because the Taliban are using sophisticated attacks against native forces and American forces uh, facilities and targets across Afghanistan. And so the situation is worsening and the Taliban are growing from strength to strength. And many here believe that part of the reason behind the recent upsurge of violence uh, across Afghanistan is the NATO military operations. NATO commanders here in Afghanistan admit this. They believe that their military operations have led to the rise of the Taliban attacks against their forces in southern parts of Afghanistan, also in eastern parts of Afghanistan. Uh, and they believe that they, interestingly, they still believe that they would be able to reverse the Taliban momentum with their military operations. As you know that now in an operation, a British operation is underway in Helmand province, southern Afghanistan. The operation has been being led by the British forces, and it has been codenamed uh, Tor uh, Prince or Tor Shahzada by the British forces. It's now going on, and this operation is believed to be to uh, reverse the Taliban momentum and clear the Asadabad and uh, uh, other districts of Helmand province from the Taliban militants. And many here now in Afghanistan believe that these operations would not help to reverse what the Americans say, the Taliban momentum and bring peace it, and stability to the southern parts of Afghanistan because recently the American forces launched an operation in the town of Marja of Helmand, but it's still Marja is not secure, life is not normal in the Taliban, or is still as strong in Marja, town of Helmand province. So given these facts, many here believe that this war cannot be won by the military operations of NATO forces in Afghanistan. All right, Press TV's Vice Horsheed with the latest from Kabul. Vice, thank you.